These are the things you'll need. Formula or Avid Bleed Kit, T10 Torx and a DOT4 brake fluid. Start with unbolting the brake lever from the handlebar. It needs to be vertical with the bleeding port on top. Position the bike that the bleeding port on the caliper is in the uppermost position. Make sure the brake lever is higher than the brake caliper. Fill one syringe, one half full of dot for the brake fluid and the other syringe one quarter full. Hold each syringe with the tip pointed up and slowly push the air bubbles out. Close each hose clamp and pull on the plunger. Bubbles will appear to form and enlarge. Continue to pull on the plunger to release all the bubbles so they can rise to the top of the fluid. Open the clamp and carefully push the air out. Repeat this process several times. Use a T10 Torx to remove the caliper bleed port screw. Be careful not to contaminate brake pads and brake rotor. You can remove the wheel and brake pads and use the appropriate bleed block. Carefully remove the rubber o-ring. Use the one half full syringe and thread it all the way into the caliper body and open the clamp. Use a T10 Torx to remove the lever bleed port screw. Thread the other syringe in the brake lever and open the clamp. Gently push on the caliper syringe plunger to move fluid up through the system and into the lever syringe. Push until the caliper syringe is left less than one quarter full. Close the clamp on the lever syringe. Pull the brake lever in and fasten it with a zip tie. Pull out on the caliper syringe plunger to create a vacuum, then gently push back to pressurize the system. Repeat the procedure several times until large bubbles stop coming out of the caliper. Do not pull too hard. Remove a zip tie from the brake lever but keep the lever pulled in with your finger. Apply the pressure on the caliper syringe plunger and allow the brake lever to slowly release to the fully extended position. Remove the syringe from the caliper and reinstall the bead port screw. Don't forget the rubber o-ring. Open a clamp on the lever syringe. Pull on the plunger to create a vacuum, then gently push on the plunger to pressurize the system.
Squeeze and release the brake lever several times to release all the bubbles in the system. At the end, push and release the plunger one last time. Remove the syringe and reinstall the bleed port screw. Use isopropyl alcohol or water and wipe off any excess brake fluid from the brake lever and the caliper. 